855 Highland. This is the outside of the cabin. You can see it's a very quiet street with National Forest behind that yellow sign and the green building there. There's a couple different ways to access it in this direction. Right there is probably the best way to access the trail. Trails go up into the woods, National Forest, up towards the ski slopes, um, a couple different forest service roads up there, and hiking trails. But it's a dead end road, obviously. I mean, no through traffic here. The not maintained sign is talking about where the sign is and past it. This street will, will be plowed up to here. You can see right next door there is a rental. We can, um, you know, try to get the numbers from that rental. Sometimes we can get those numbers, sometimes we can't. But this is looking down the street, all nice properties. Even the old ones are pretty clean and well kept up. But it's got a great setting um, in the front, on the street, and the backyard's even better, in my opinion. You could also access those trails through this backyard if you just walk straight out the back of the lot. You will end up, you know, by the trails. That big tree in the back with the white line around it. That's National Forest right there. This setting is very hard to find, especially in this price range. The roof does need maybe a little work, but it's also a small roof, so even if you had to re, um, you know, redo the roof, there's only one level, one layer, I should say, of roofing. You could go up to three, so they would just be roofing right on top of what's there. Don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the storm window I was talking about. It has little hinges outside. You could take those off, in my opinion, during the uh, summertime. It's mostly for winter, for insulation. That's the outside.